Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And I gotta say, here at the Guitar Max channel, I really pride myself on bringing you the most important, just absolutely vital news in the music industry that you need to stay up on all the important issues going on right now. I like to tell you guys about the kind of news that you need to impress your friends and also have something to talk about with your grandma. And that is why that when I recently heard that Iron Maiden singer Bruce Dickinson has had a new species of lizard named after him. I knew that I had to drop everything that I was doing and deliver the goods. So Bruce, do you have a special name for your lizard? Oh, you do? Inya Leoides Dickinsoni? Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. Okay guys, so I've got all the details up here. I'm gonna share this with you, but of course, real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitars, and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay guys, let's go check this out. This is over on guitar.com. Here's the headline. I never thought I would read this. Newly discovered lizard species named Dickinson's Wood Lizard in honor of Iron Maiden's Bruce Dickinson. Behold, the Inya Leoides Dickinsoni, uh, and there is the man himself. To be clear, that's Bruce, not the lizard. Anyway, let's read on here. Here's one we didn't have on our 2024 bingo card. A newly discovered species of lizard found in Peru has been named after Iron Maiden's Bruce Dickinson. Apparently, the decision to name the species after the frontman was down to his contributions to the, quote, awareness and protection of vulnerable species and the fact that Iron Maiden is a popular band among taxonomists and museum curators. As reported by Classic Rock, the species named Inoliodis Dickinsoni was found in the Cordillera de Colan mountain range, 460 miles north of Lima, Peru. The name is known as Dickinson's Wood Lizard in English. The Journal of Vertebrate Biology states that the specific name is a noun in the genitive form and is a petronym honoring Paul Bruce Dickinson, who is best known as the lead singer in the legendary heavy metal band Iron Maiden. I just love the fact that that sentence is in a scientific journal. Now it adds, though he is also a music producer, entrepreneur, competitive fencer, novelist, aviator, broadcaster, and the recipient of numerous honorary degrees and awards, in 2016, he flew a loggerhead sea turtle, Coretta Coretta, that washed up on a Jersey beach to the Canary Islands in his private plane, thus contributing to the awareness and protection of this vulnerable species. We also highlight that Iron Maiden is a popular band among taxonomists and museum curators who appreciate rock music. Now let's learn a little bit more about the science about this, uh, this lizard here. The species can be identified by seven main traits, which include characteristics such as a distinctively low vertebral crest and the crest on the neck almost twice as high as the crest between hind limbs and 56 through 71 vertebral scales from occiput to base of tail. I honestly have no idea what they're talking about and I have a feeling that if I saw this lizard in person I would not be able to identify it as Dickinson's wood lizard. Anyway it finishes off here in other Bruce Dickinson news the rocker is due to release his solo album The Mandrake Project on March 1st of this year. It will be his first solo release in nearly two decades and will be the first time he has ever played guitar on a record. Well, that's all very interesting, but I am fascinated with this story that they mentioned earlier of the time Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden rescued a turtle. I've got to do a whole separate video about that. So guys, I don't know about you, but I love these crazy blendings of rock music and science. This doesn't happen very often, but it reminds me a little bit of the time that Brian May of Queen did the song about the comet. And it wasn't like a comet that was, was it a comet or was it an asteroid? Okay, I just checked, it was an asteroid. Many of you may know that 
Brian May, in addition to being the guitarist in Queen, is also an astrophysicist. But that's not really what we're here to talk about. So guys, this really comes down to the question that I wanted to, uh, to ask you guys. Of course, you know, we, we've learned all about this new species of lizard that is named after Bruce Dickinson. But if a new species was discovered and it was going to be named after you, what kind of an animal would you like to have named after you? Let me know down in the comments section below. Personally, I would go with some kind of exotic duck. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.